Today, we're diving into the PIP assessment criteria, a key element for those applying for disability benefits. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to support our channel. The Personal Independence Payment, PIP, helps with some of the extra costs. If you have a long-term physical or mental health condition, it's not based on the condition itself, but how it affects you. There are two parts to PIP, daily living and mobility. Each is assessed separately. To start, let's talk about daily living tasks. This includes preparing food, eating, managing medication, and washing. Then, there's managing money, which evaluates your ability to make financial decisions. Social interaction is also considered focusing on how you communicate with others. Understanding written information is another criterion, assessing your ability to read and understand text. Mobility criteria look at your ability to plan and follow a journey. It also evaluates your physical movement capabilities. For each activity, you're awarded points based on the level of difficulty you face. The total points from all activities determine if you qualify for PIP and the amount you receive. It's important to provide detailed, accurate information during your assessment. Supporting evidence from healthcare professionals can strengthen your case. Remember, it's about how your condition affects your daily life, not the condition itself. The assessment might include a face-to-face -face consultation. Be as honest and detailed about your daily challenges as you can during this. Changes in your condition can affect your PIP, so keep the Department for Work and Pensions updated. Appeals are possible if you disagree with the decision. There's support available to guide you through the appeal process. Understanding the PIP criteria can seem daunting, but it's crucial for accessing the support you need. Remember, each person's experience with PIP is unique. Finally, thank you for watching. If you found this information useful, please like and subscribe. It is very helpful to us and would be greatly appreciated.